Here's hoping your holiday Monday was a pleasant one, but in an effort to make it a little more relaxing, scores of Hamilton residents were left scrambling. They were also flipping, toasting and frying at one of Hamilton's favorite eateries. CH's Norman James has more. It's a holiday, and that means business at the Egg and Die restaurant in Ancaster. It's always good here. So the lineups are endless, even on a morning when most people would rather sleep in. Customers say this is affordable, old-school dining at its best. The service, the food, the, the environment, it's wonderful. And it's not hard to find out why people like this restaurant so much. The reasons are all over the place. Hard working girls, we look after them, they look after the customers, and this is why customers coming back. They also return for the food, and on a morning like this one, the breakfast. Jaffer Samsudin is on egg duty. We go order is like omelette and uh, eggs, over easy. Between 500 and 800 eggs are cracked and served on really busy days, but if you think this is as crazy as it gets, think again. You mean it actually gets busier than this? Oh yeah, big time. Some staff think weekends and not holidays are when things really get hectic. Yeah, tell that to the guys washing dishes. Usually it's very busy on Sundays, so today's up Sunday morning. Still, the work gets done, and owner Terry Plessis is there to help. He owns all three of the Egg and Die restaurants in Hamilton and says just like the novel they're named after, they stand the test of time. It has good name. It's been around for a long time. It's been 15 years on Highway 20, 13 on Upper James, and just under five at this location. And no matter what day it is, people will continue to show up because the egg and die has become a big part of the city's dining culture. We make it a ritual. We come here like what every Friday. We here a lot, and uh, we enjoy the uh, the atmosphere and the quick service. Norman James, CH News, Ancaster.